Hello, you magnificent bastards, and welcome back to City Skylines. Um, we're back for, uh, for episode 17. Um, of course, the revenge, and this is Revengepolis. You can see here this beautiful new area that we built. Um, you can see how m beautifully that road slopes, and well, this is quite steep actually. I don't want to use my bike on there. Luckily, there are no bikes in this game. So, let's continue on. We were. Filling up this new zone, hoping to reach the population we need, and uh, that's actually something I like. I mean, if you look at it, like from a distance, it looks all uh, nice and flat. Like this is looks totally flat with just some some areas around these uh, around the coast that might have some elevation. But if you zoom in on on these areas over here, like just just this road that looks so flat from the top, it actually does have some elevation. Which is nice. You don't you don't notice that if you if you're zoomed out, but it's actually there. So um, let's see if we can get the zoning completely done today. Hopefully we can. Right now I'm just being careful so we don't run out of power again like last few times. I think that um, if we really just fill it in slowly, like we're doing now, it shouldn't be as much of an issue. Hopefully. Right now the, the building focus seems to be really on the, um, on the residential area, but at the same time We've run out of demand for them, so we could actually fill up this commercial area in the middle here. Now, I think there is enough going around around it. We can just fill it up pretty much, maybe until, well, up to here. Because there's nothing down here in the first bit yet. Residential demand goes up again a little bit. It really just comes and goes without a real easy way to see why. Oh, there might be it might be in there somewhere, but the thing is, I do enjoy playing games where I don't totally know what I'm doing just well enough to be able to do it and without it being frustrating, you know what I mean? It's just that when you know exactly what you're doing, it just feels too much like uh, you're min-maxing it and trying to make the best game happen and at some point you just feel like you know how to make the best game and that's all you know th there's no challenge anymore hmm that might be a bit ambitious but whatever hopefully n nothing gets built over here in the in this area. I constantly want to say the south, but... It doesn't really matter where the south is. But I just, there's no way to know. So we're getting really close to that 11k cap that we need. For the next level. And unlocking the stuff that we want. Might need a lot of brain power though to, <laughs> to figure out how it how it works but we'll see maybe it'll not be as hard as some people have told me it is that's something else though you know sometimes people think like well if you make these um, these uh, videos on on YouTube you know the only thing that will happen is people don't play the game and watch the video instead I don't think that's the case because I know I, I don't have too many subscribers yet and yet someone I, I already know of at least one person who actually found out about this game and bought it because I made videos about it and now many people watch it not that many that's already that's already one person that that bought it and of course that isn't really statistically proves doesn't prove a lot but still I think that it, it does show that it's not just one way it's not just people who don't buy the game now and it could even be argued that uh, they wouldn't have bought it anyway 
if, if it uh, wasn't on the YouTube. Although it's always hard to check. I mean, you can't really say much about the alternate because that didn't happen. That's something I hate as well. You've got these, um, like, um, ha uh, like these programs on on uh, television sometimes about uh, dangerous sports and stuff, and then it's like, well, this crash happened, and you know it could have done gone a lot worse, and it's like, well, you can't really say that. You don't know. You don't know what would have happened if it happened differently. This is coming along nicely. It's almost filled up. We only need this, uh, this bit about the around the rim. For some reason, that seems weird. You would think that they would want to build towards the water because that's the most high-value property. Uh, I would think, but apparently not. Apparently, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Let's look at this boulevard, actually. Well, I say boulevard, it's not really a boulevard. Look at that. Just imagine you on a shopping spree, going down to another Salty's convenience store, and then going to Big Bites. Why is there not real shops here? And uh, another leather store. This time the right way around. And then you just walk down and you just reach the polluted river because that's what it is at the moment. But that'll clean up eventually because if you look at this, this would becomes available at 16,000 uh, 16, people, water treatment plant that will replace place these these things that, that ruin our water right now. We might actually want to move them to the other side. That might actually be a good idea. Um, should we do that? How much does that cost? Or we could move them. Let's do that. Let's move them to the other side. To over here. Move this one as well. Now hook them up to the water. Well, first like to, let's hook them up to each other. And then to the water. Like this. And then this should slowly clean up, and this should slowly be polluted, and that's fine. Oh, apparently I forgot the energy, but it's close enough. Oof, that was just about close enough. Totally forgot about the power. Speaking of which, um, that's the only power available at the moment. I did, I did a boo-boo. I should fix it again. <laughs> Oops. There we go. That was a little mistake, people. I'm very sorry about it. Man, that almost ruined us. If I hadn't caught that straight away. Oh well. Mistakes happen. Um, well, I guess this could be a store. Don't know what's best. I think I'm going to keep this as the overflow, so if I need some more offices, I can build them over here, but I won't build them yet, because I think that if I do it right now, uh, we just don't have enough people to, to man them. That being said, we can actually expand a little bit again here. So we're almost done. I think that this will be uh, like another of those boulevards with the big um, flats, apartment buildings. So 
Someone just had their vacation. That's nice for them, I guess. I would want a vacation around now. We're getting close to done. Oh, we could actually build again something over here. You know what, let's just fill it in. I'm sure it'll be fine. And if there's one office that is just not getting any power, that's their own fault for building in the wrong place. It's not that much space anymore where you can build wrong, so... And with that, we're getting really, really close to building the train station. I'm so excited. I wonder, I, I guess that the crane train station has to build next to a... Um, next to a railroad? Maybe it's like this... Um, well, it could be... it could go two ways. Either you build it next to a road and a railroad comes with it, or the other way around, you build it next to a railroad and the, the regular road comes with it. I'm not sure, we'll see. Since this seems to be mostly built uh, build around the um, the roads, though, I guess the railroad comes with it, and we have to do some weird stuff to fit it in. Now, luckily, both sides are within my um, my area. This is a little bit tight, though. Might have to bite this plot here, so we can we can. We have control over this corner. Still some some shops are without people. Which is a little bit weird. I guess it's because there's no real demand for anything. Yeah, even here we don't have enough workers. People are still moving in, so hopefully it'll be fine. Or maybe we just build too much commercial, it might also be the case. But still, this will be mostly residential area because I don't want to make too many many um, commercial and office areas here. Because this will be the nice area of town. So then we'll probably have a high demand for, for anything but residential when, once we reach that area. We're almost there, there's 200 people to go, and then we can finally build our rain railway. Now, hopefully we can also fix this. <laughs> it's so ugly. I'm sorry. I do apologize, I, I could have done that better. It's heavily in use, though. I guess that's the only reason to even reach this area right now. Ooh, stuff is finally being built along the river now. Oh, and look, the pollution has been has pretty much gone here. I can actually have a look. Yeah, there it is. You can see the pollution is still over here, but f the rest is actually here on the coast. On the other side, rather than in the middle, and along this coast. So, we've managed to fix it. The trees are still recovering, though, I guess. Speaking of trees that are recovering, how are these trees? They're fully green now, we did it! We fixed the pollution, that's great. Oh, we're almost there. Just 20 people to go. Come on, move in. Just six. Yes, come on. Just one. Ah, oh, why do you do this to me, game? Just one. Oh, God, there we are. And we're now a small city. We can build a train, which is why we wanted it. Level six unique buildings, whatever. We can build a hydro power plant. That's that dam we talked about. 
Um, can have some new policies, amongst which high-tech housing. Which makes them much cooler, that's exactly what we want. And the train station and cargo train terminal. Cargo train terminal might be interesting, but don't know if we build that straight away. Um, definitely gonna build the train station though. Let's see. Transport. Trains. This is the train station. Must be placed roadside. Yeah, I was just afraid of that. So we have to build a road. And preferably ones that one that goes close by enough. Let's see. It's not too wide, so I guess it could be pretty close to the... Well, I say that, I should watch better. So how wide is it? I guess that if it, if it would go over here... Um, it's about six squares. I guess. So we need six squares wide. A straight road, I guess that if we go under here and then under here, space already occupied, that's probably because of the off ramp. Oh, this is fine. Is this good? Nah, it's not the best. Hmm. Could we do it any better? Probably. Maybe if I keep the camera like this, it's easier to do. So let's go by this, and then under here. This will be how it is. Then we can build the train station. Like so. So there is the train station. Good. Now we can delete this area over here. And we need to delete this. And we need to delete it over here as well. And we got to delete this area. Now we've got floating cars and everything. Now first, we need to connect this back up. And on this side, the same thing. So now the boulevard is back in its original shape. And it's looking good again. Now we can connect this back up. bit like this. Okay. Now we go back to the trains. We can make this. So we have to connect this. Oh. Oops. That's not what I intended. I wanted to make it. Hmm. Well, let's make this one first then. Here it passes over. That looks fine. And it goes down again. All those bridges look a bit weird, but it works. They do what they're supposed to. Maybe I can fix this this bit in between though. I don't like the slope.
That looks a bit better. It's good enough. So now we have to um, link up the railroad. Like this. And like this. Now people can move in and out of town, I guess. Now, of course, what we also wanted to make is a bus station. Which you can make next to it. That's usually where the bus station is, I feel. And then a metro line on the other side. Um... this right and then with the metro line we can build this can it also go with a corner yes it can we have to link it up well I say that I guess that a normal metro line actually comes pops up every now and then So maybe we can build another station over over here, maybe? It does cause some sound issues. Okay. I'll build one over here, I guess, maybe. I don't know. And then we've got the next one over there, and it's fine. Maybe we can build one at the... At the schools and stuff as well. That's fine. So it goes like this. And then it turns into here. And on the other side, continues on. Then it turns into the station right here. And then we ran out of money. Well, let's take a loan then. It's a long time since we took a, took a loan. But whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. And then I think that at the end there's also always a like a circle to allow them to, to get back. this another one like right here now apparently create a new line Okay. And then it goes back along the same line. Does that work? Does it need to go to uh, through the round section? Well, whatever then. I still keep the ra round section because I feel it it, sh it belongs. Now as for the trains, do we need to make a line there as well? Train line. Um, well, that's fine. Um, honestly, we'll make some train stops later on. I think that that's enough for now. We got a train station. You can actually see how it works. Did the, did the bus lines get updated? Uh, nope. This bus line is completely, uh, completely confused. Maybe if I, um, if I try to move it. It usually works. Yep, there we go. No? Okay. 
Move stop and move stop again. No, I want to move you. There we go. And does that fix the one over here as well? Yep, it does. So that's all fixed. Oh, it doesn't have any power, of course. This should do. Did I plant it deep enough? Yep. Right, so um, we've got the train station and everything. Um, we'll fix it further um, next time. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And um, please leave a like if you did. And subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time. Cheerio! Meanwhile, we'll see whether these... <laughs> These cars will fall out of the sky. Um, here's Jack Benson. Let's spin him out. There we go. Wow, our enemy died straight away. What a dumb dumb. Well, that was that then. That was the quickest war I ever fought.